Hello everyone, welcome. Today's episode, we will talk about how to perform analysis of variance using Microsoft Excel. And here are our learning objectives today to determine the situation when using ANOVA and to demonstrate how to perform ANOVA using Microsoft Excel. So what is ANOVA? So ANOVA is simply a parametric statistical treatment to determine if there are any statistical differences between the means of three or more independent or unrelated groups. So we can say that ANOVA is the extended version of the independent t-test for three or more independent groups. So when is ANOVA appropriate? So before we perform analysis of variance, we need to make sure that the six assumptions are satisfied. One, the dependent variable must be measured in interval or ratio level, or generally the data that you are going to collect should be a quantitative data. Assumption two, there should be three or more categorical and independent groups. And talking about independent groups, that's our assumption three. You should be able to validate or confirm that the data or the observations within or between groups are independent. For assumption four, you should be able to check that there are no significant outliers. Number five, the data should be normally distributed. And number six is there should be a homogeneity of variances. So how do we satisfy these assumptions? Well, for assumption one, just make sure that you gather quantitative data. And for assumption two, make sure that the independent groups are categorical. But here are some suggestions I would like to emphasize for assumptions three to six. So if you want to test the independence of observation, you may use the Levin's test of or for equality of variances. And for assumption four, since we'll be using a Microsoft Excel in this activity, you may use quartiles or whisker plots to detect the presence of outliers. And if there are indeed outliers in our data set, there are two things you can do. First is the first R, remove. Meaning, simply remove the data all the outliers in your data set. The second R is replace. So replace those outliers by either the minimum or the maximum value in your data set. For assumptions five, we can conduct a normality test either using Shapiro-Welk test or kolmogorov smirnov test for normality. In assumption six, we can use a Levin's test for homogeneity of variances. However, in this presentation, let's assume that we satisfied assumptions 1 to 6 already. So in performing the analysis of variance, please remember this roadmap. So after we satisfy the assumptions and we are given a firm, uh, yeah, we are given a permission to proceed to utilizing ANOVA. So the next thing we are going to do is to perform the ANOVA test, of course. And perf upon performing the ANOVA test, there are two situations that might occur. The first situation is that the p-value is not less than 0 0.05. So that means we have to stop the process and make a conclusion. However, if the p-value happens to be less than 0 0.05, then a post hoc test will be performed. And we will elaborate that part on our next, in our next video. So now let's proceed in performing ANOVA test using Microsoft Excel wherein no post hoc test is needed. Let's call this the part one of the ANOVA test. So in this demonstration, please remember this situation. So the Philippine Statistics Authority would like to know if there is a significant difference in the 2018 annual family expenditure among the families in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. They collected the data in every municipality of every region in the Philippines. So our job is to test the hypothesis below at 0 0.05 level of significance. Note that the situation is not part of the cited source. Only the data is adapted for this demonstration. So let's do this. Now, allow me to demonstrate how to perform the analysis of variance using the data analysis toolpack of the Microsoft Excel. So here we have the data set. We have three columns. That means we have three independent groups. We're in group one, 
uh, contains the, uh, the column A rather, contains the data for the annual family expenditures of the Filipino families in Luzon. That's actually in thousands. We have those uh, column B for the Visayas. And we have column C for the annual family expenditure of the Filipino families in Mindanao. And our job is to test the hypothesis here at 0 0.05 level of significance. Or all we have to do is go to data. Okay, click data. Then go to data analysis. And here we have the data analysis dialog box and select ANOVA single factor and click OK. So once you click OK, we have this information that we need to fill out. So first is for the input range. Just have to highlight all the data in our data set from row 1 to row up, row 1 column A to row 1 column C. And then your keyboard press Control shift arrow down to highlight all the data in this data set all the way down to row 49. And since our independent groups are grouped by columns, when we have to select columns, then don't forget to check labels in first row. Set the alpha level to 0 0.05 since we want to test the hypothesis at 0 0.05 level of significance. And since I also have some extra space in this worksheet, so let's generate the result here by selecting output range and allow me to, you can either highlight a certain area for you to generate the result or you can select a particular cell where you can start the generation of its results and click OK. And there we go. So here is the generated result of the ANOVA test and we have two tables. The first table is called descriptives. It contains the a mean and the standard deviation or the variance of our data set. And the second table is what we call the ANOVA table. So the interpretation of this generated result will be discussed in our next video. Okay, that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching.